Okay, so this time what I wanted to do was to explain periodontal therapy. A very common misunderstanding or misconception in to the dental public or even amongst other dentists is what is periodontal therapy. Uh, people routinely go to see the dentist to get a cleaning or the code is for something that's called a prophylaxis. This is a term that means prevention, as in we're trying to prevent disease. So as long as you see the dentist on the recommended interval, you can prevent a disease. Once disease has started, and the first signs that patients are often aware of is the gingivitis stage, is when gums are bleeding and puffy. As soon as we start having bone loss, we need to treat this. Now, this bone loss is from a bacterial infection. This is not from tartar. Tartar exacerbates or in influences the scenario, but it is a bacterial infection that we are treating. And so we're not cleaning the teeth, but the teeth become clean as a side effect of the therapy of this bacterial infection. And the reason why this is important to understand is it's an open-ended treatment. We don't know how what effort it's going to take, how many visits it will take until we see you and your body's response, your ability to heal. Some patients that have a diminished capacity to heal, diabetics and such, are going to take a little bit more time to get control of the disease. And once you have periodontal disease, it'll never go away. The bone loss is irreversible. We are always going to be trying to control the bacterial load that you are carrying. Now, what will happen is there are certain bacteria that is affected by oxygen. So the deeper the pockets, the more virulent strains of bacteria that are present. Strep mutans is the bacteria that causes cavities. The byproduct of its food ingestion is to secrete acids, and those acids eat away at your tooth structure. Those bacteria are not present at the deep base of a pocket. So we aren't worried about cavities at that level, but we are worried about bone loss. Now, we're also worried about that same type of bacteria affecting the rest of your body, the systemic health. People with chronic inflammation, the inflammatory cells that happens in periodontal disease, the bacteria in the periodontal disease itself can get into the bloodstream, get a bacteremia, and then you are at a higher risk of heart attacks, stroke, uh, low birth weight babies, early terms. So there are a lot of reasons why we would want to do periodontal therapy. Back to the, the way that we treat this, this is something that is going to be done usually by quadrant. And sometimes we'll do um, a right side and then a left side, but we're not necessarily done at the once we've scraped up or treated those areas. What's going to happen is we ideally have a person back after a period of time when we've initiated therapy to reevaluate the area that we treated already and retreat that area as necessary as we continue on to other parts. Once we think we've got you done, we have you back for what's called supportive periodontal therapy. Now, some offices use a term that's incorrect. They call it a tissue check. That implies it's a five-minute take a peek and look around. It, this truly is a visit that should be about 45 minutes long because they're going to probe again. We are going to evaluate the tissue health, and we're going to retreat areas that didn't respond initially or if we see that there's any calculus or tartar buildup that we missed previously. So this visit is not brief, and it is not something to be taken lightly. And at that visit, we then schedule you back to come back in three-month intervals. Now, we recommend three months because once the bacterial colonies that destroy bone have been affected or disrupted, it takes them about three months to recolonize or aggregate again. And at that level, they can start to destroy bone. So if we see you every three months, we can control the bacteria and prevent further bone loss. Now, also what we need to understand is periodontal disease is something that goes in cycles. It's a very cyclic in nature type of a disease. So we can have periods of dormancy and periods of activity that we need to be aware of. And if we see it every three months, then when the bacteria become more virulent or active, we can reinitiate therapy. It's not unusual that periodontal therapy is done every three to five years to regain control of what's, what's happening there. I hope this helps understand what periodontal therapy is. And if you have any further questions, send me an email. Dr. Timmerman is known internationally with licenses in multiple states in the United States plus Belgium and Dubai for cosmetic, implant, and sleep dentistry with fellowships in the International Congress for Oral Implantology and the Academy of General Dentistry. 
and a diplomate in the American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine. If you would like to become a patient of Dr. Timmerman or simply have questions, please go to our website, www.drtimmerman.com. That is www.drtimmerman.com. Or call us at 206-241-5533. Or you could email questions for an episode of a future podcast at thewholetoothpodcast at gmail.com.